and Don Moore will be here to give his first icebreaker speech in Toastmasters Club. And as we know from Marianne, you can't give more than one icebreaker speech. So but this will be his first. It is a part of his competent communicator stream, and it is project number one. Don is wondering why this speech is called icebreaker, especially when there's a sunny day outside, which is <laughs> unusual for November, especially in Cleveland. And we have a warm and welcoming audience in front of him. There is no place for words, words like ice, cold, and no chance of getting something frozen. Rather, rather than the icebreaker, why not call this speech something like dive in or maybe sunbathing? So, here to give his dive in speech, I'll give you a nine more. and pleasant day outside, warm and welcoming audience in front of me. I think it's a perfect situation for giving first speech. But if I look back towards my life, uh, there were plenty of situations when there was hardly anything was perfect. Very too much of odds and you know hurdles. I would like to call them as a bad batches. Madam Perry Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters. <laughs> <laughs> and there are no guests. <laughs> uh, well, I still remember uh, first day of my first job. Fresh out of the college, no so whatsoever, whatever called it as a corporate experience. And there was a cube assigned to me, I was sitting and literally praying, praying to God that no one should come in my cubicle and I need to talk to them or let not the phone ring because if you know somebody comes to me and talks in English and if I don't understand that one, and if I have to answer and I couldn't answer that one, it was a very tough situation. So there were a lot of situations like this which I think I survived. You know what was my first salary in my first job? It was less than 50 bucks per month, if I literally convert it into dollars. And it was a full-time job, 10 hours per day average, you know, that was my salary. In situations like, you know, I, the first phone call came in my first corporate day and, you know, my hand was literally shaking and palms were sweating, I survived. So if I look back and if I say some of my whole life so far in one single sentence, I'll say like, accept your limitations and go beyond it. So that's a in all theme for my today's icebreaker speech. Going back to my, I mean, start point, uh, basically I born in India, no surprise. <laughs> in small village, basically, it was not village as such, not, not countryside, but it was a small town. Uh, it was a historical town. My mother was a teacher. Basically, all mothers are born teacher, but she was school teacher. So, and my father was a, uh, government official. Uh, I am the youngest son. Uh, I have two elder sisters. Uh, we were, I mean, in spite of two earning people in my family, basically we were not financially that much good. We were not extremely poor or something because in India, if you earn more than 50 cents a day, you are not poor. So in that terms, we were not poor. But it was like barely something to make up uh, your daily needs and the education. So I, I remember till my fifth grade, basically we were like seven members in one family, uh, staying in a rented house, which might be like one fourth of this room, wow. that was single room house. And you know, we, we went through that phase. That was one of the bad patches. Then came a time basically, uh, I mean, we, out of that whole situation, basically my mother was the one uh, person who inspired me throughout my life. Uh, I think at my last speech I talked about some incident. So she was the one basically she encouraged all of our us kids to you know get a good education, get the good habits, uh, encouraged to do a lot of uh, you know participate in uh, competitions, uh, take good hobbies so that you know you grow further in your life. So uh, I just summed up you know what what the hobbies I had and what what things probably I done in my school kids. 
I needed to put it in this, uh, you know, small paper. I participated in a drawing competition, painting competition, went till like, you know, state level. I did a karate, I was like brown belt in karate. Uh, I ran the half marathons. Language classes, Hindi, Sanskrit, English, I did all these classes and went till like, you know, some decent type uh, examination. Musical instrument, I play mouth organ, I'm learning guitar nowadays. You know, I write, act, dramas, direct dramas. I done so far like some national level. Sports like from roller skating to cricket, chess, all of those competitions she made us to participate in. In school days, you know, she was my encouragement. But in college days, basically, I was the first person from my family to have a professional degree. I'm the first engineering in my whole, whole entire family. First person to go abroad and you know probably talk with in front of you people. So there was nobody to you know encourage me or maybe give a, you know guidance on steps. So there were a lot of mistakes we, which I made and learned from them. Uh, on the professional side, you know I uh, from that my first uh, hundred dollar job. Uh, Till now, I changed five companies. Uh, I'm a software engineer. In this uh, American greeting job, uh, my role is SAP application architect for the one uh, AG project, which is SAP implementation. So I'm good, doing good. On the personal life, I'm married to Anuja. She's my good friend as well. Uh, we know each other since last more than 17 years, 10 years in the marriage life. Uh, about story of our marriage, basically we are a, we are so-called love marriage and there is a big story about and how, the, how difficult days we got passed through. Uh, it can be a next speech topic basically. <laughs> so uh, and I, we are blessed with the beautiful daughter Arya. Yeah, so it's a good time now. So and at the end of this speech I would like to say that if I compare myself with others, if I compare with my colleagues, my friends or my neighbors, I probably would not have achieved something which can be called as a great. But if I compare with myself where I started back, or if I compare myself with what I was yesterday, probably I think that I have achieved something. Thank you.